you can read? I can read? That's right, I can read! Yeah, Dory can read, but how? This is just kind of a fact of the story of Finding Nemo I kind of just took for granted, but now that I've been thinking about the story more, I want an answer. How is it possible Dory can read? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watsovo Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading magic by examining Disney, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. Also, I just wanted to let you know that the company who produces my merchandise, Teespring, is offering 10% off on all of my designs this weekend from February 14th through the 16th by using code LEVELUP. They are taking that discount out of their profits to help encourage all of you to help support my channel and get you wearing the Watso videos and following dreams designs. The clothes are all really high quality, I always feel very confident and cozy when I wear them, and I'm extremely happy with the designs so I'd love if you got some to show your support of the magical content I strive to create. And after you get some, be sure to share it with me on Twitter and Instagram at Watso Videos so that I can share you wearing the merch to the rest of the fun people around the world. Just go to WatsoStore.com and use code LEVELUP to get some of the magical merchandise. The link is down below. Okay, so Dory's ability to read was first discovered because of the stressful scenario involving a big shark named Brucey. Because before that, Dory didn't even remember that she was able to read. Damn, I can't read human! Well then, we gotta find a fish that can read this! Hey look, shark! On occasion, you know, she just doesn't have any memory of all the useful skills she has. But when she remembers, it really helps her and Marlin escape the deadly frenemy. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word escape. Let's go. With that realization, Marlin and Dory were on their way to figure out where Nemo was and how they were going to go after him. And she used that skill again later when she was going after her parents, reading maps and discovering the occasional fun fact on the wall. And by the end of her journey, Dory became a pretty efficient reader, being able to rattle off road signs like she had seen them a million times. But how could she have even been able to learn how to read human? Dory! We... So what did it say? What did the mask say? P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. <gasps> Maybe this is something that might just seem obvious to some people, but in my mind, I don't think the answer was thrown at us right in the face, like how Dory learned to just keep swimming. Clearly, her parents taught her that song, which stuck with her throughout all of her adventures, which is actually not something most blue tangs do. While Dory goes and takes on the big blue world, shout out to Finding Nemo the Musical at Disney's Animal Kingdom, most blue tangs in the wild will attack with their back spine or actually even play dead. I guess we kind of get to see that in the destiny bucket, but not to a great extent. I've linked a few articles below the like button talking about cool facts about Dory's species along with other Finding Nemo videos if you want to check them out. In short though, Dory is a unique fish within her species beyond just her ability to read because the blue tings in general aren't particularly smarter than any other, at least from what I could find learning about them. They aren't going through any scientist underwater maze blazing quickly or are doing calculus in a lab. Actually, Dory's species really struggles to survive in captivity. So there was a lot of concern that when Finding Dory released that fish sellers, the sellers of fish, the, the people who have tanks and give you fish, uh, they, have, they would have to take from populations in the ocean, which could have resulted in a decrease in their population. From what I could find, the blue tanks currently have a stable population though, which is good because I still want to understand our little friend who can read. And I think the way she can do that is best understood through examining a dinosaur, a rat, and a star. But what do I mean? What I'm referring to is a variety of individuals who exist in the Pixar world who all have an ability to read, even though they aren't human and don't seem necessarily far above intellectually than those around them. And through these characters, I think we can begin to understand how Dory could stumble upon this skill while many other fish never did. The dinosaur, well, that's Rex from Toy Story. Remember, even as a toy, he was able to read the guidebook that taught him how to defeat Zerg. You know, they make it so you can't defeat Zerg unless you buy this book. It's extortion, that's what it is. 
But he wasn't even the only toy who could read. I mean, Woody was able to read Buzz's box and Buzz could read Al's license plate. And those are just off the top of my head. It really seemed like a lot of Andy's toys in fact could understand human writing. And the reason I believe they were able to learn this is because they grew up around a child who was learning how to read. They were surrounded by humans who they could observe and interact with, and eventually, probably through helping one another, they learned this skill. It could just be the case that these magical toys who come to life might just know the language of the person who owns them, but I really think it's their interaction with humans that teaches them what they know. And this is supported by how another character learned the language of love. Well, what I'm saying is the rat I was talking about was, of course, Remy, who learned French by sneaking into a human's home. Remy would explore, listen, and watch what was happening, and through that excitement to learn, he was able to discover Gusto and the realm of cooking, and also a cookbook. Wait, 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 wait. You read? Well, not excessively. Oh. Man, I love Ratatouille. It's such a mature story that I think does a great job at grounding us in the fantasy of this rat. And by the end, every time, I always just feel so inspired to create things. I really hope we can get some more stories like that soon. The ones that can absolutely captivate us, very similarly to the Finding Nemo musical in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Clearly a perfect segue to get us back into talking about Dory. Again, through Remy, we are seeing that beings who we might underestimate as being as intelligent as us have potential when surrounding themselves with humans in the Pixar world. And that's exactly what happens to the star fish that I was referring to earlier. Yet, yeah, Dory isn't even the only fish in Finding Nemo who can read, which is something that I really didn't realize until I started thinking about this video and I stumbled upon a great Reddit, Reddit page? that went through and pointed this out, which again, I'll link below. Yeah, somehow after seeing this movie on repeat on DVD, I never picked up that Peach was able to read the manual of the automatic tank cleaner. What's it say, Peach? The Aquascom 2003 is an all-purpose, self-cleaning, maintenance-free, salt water purifier that is guaranteed to even extend the life of your aquarium fish. She was a pretty efficient reader, even more so than Dory herself. There was no skipping a beat when she was reading. Oh, I also think it's important to note that she can also read time. Just throwing that out there for all of you too. Potty break, potty break! He just grabbed the reader's digest. We have 4.2 minutes. So how could this fish learn the ability to form meaning from human script? Well, I think it's because Peach has always existed within a tank and has spent the grand majority of her time looking out at the human world. On the side of the tank, she learns everything that is going on. It absorbs the knowledge, not like a sponge, but more like some toys and some rats we've seen previously. I don't think any of these characters would have learned to read or write like humans if we all weren't around. I think if Peach was in the ocean, she wouldn't have been able to read. But as Gil explains, weird things start to happen to fish when they get locked away in a tank. Fish aren't meant to be in a box, kid. It does things to you. <laughs> so since Peach was likely raised in captivity to be sold on eBay, that exposure to humans led to her observing how to read. And I believe that's exactly what happened to Dory. Man, I just realized I've been making a video about how it's exciting for people to learn how to read. I definitely would not have expected this for my YouTube career, but hey, when it's talking about a little fish, it becomes a lot more fun. As a fish raised in the open ocean exhibit in the Marine Life Institute, I think as a curious, wandering, and inquisitive little creature like she was, that she looked beyond the tank walls when she was living there. Do you think that makes sense? Let me know in the comments because I feel like it's practically confirmed that's one of the first places she looked to read from. She remembers facts that were plastered across the wall from where she lived. From echolocation is the most powerful pair of glasses to octopuses actually having three hearts, she remembered reading all of that. For a guy with three hearts, you're not very nice. Three hearts? What are you talking about? An octopus has three hearts. Huh, that's a fun fact. She may not always remember where these facts came from, but they were within her because it was in that massive tank that I believe she learned how to read and also learned how to speak whale with her pipe pal. As a young little fish who curiously explored the tank that she lived in while at the Jewel of Morro Bay, California, I think that Dory wasn't necessarily smarter than the rest of the fish around her or in the ocean. 
I believe that she just had the ability to see beyond the glass of her home. I do think fish are extremely intelligent in the Pixar world, and I think that lines up with the capabilities of other characters we have seen. Much like Rex, Remy, and Peach, I believe Dory was able to absorb the knowledge that she witnessed from the humans who explored the aquarium. So even when she forgot she had the skill, she was just one brilliant memory away from remembering that she had learned how to read. That's right, I can read! Fun people, don't forget to take part in the deal going on with the Watso Videos merchandise on Teespring this weekend by using code LEVELUP for 10% off. Anything you get greatly supports the channel and I'd love to see you all wearing it just like me. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the beautiful bell if you're new to get more magical content. Be sure to follow all of my adventures on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Watso Videos. And finally, Thanks for watching and have a magical day.